New public health knowledge and clinical practice is stimulating us to think and act differently to achieve better health locally and globally. The gap in life expectancy remains. On average, poor people are dying 10 years earlier than the rich. To tackle this, there's been a focus on specific diseases and behavior change. But insufficient attention has been paid to the causes of unhealthy lifestyles, which are often the root of our susceptibility to mental and physical illness. Have we got the right balance of where we intervene most effectively? The Marmot Review into Health Inequalities suggests intervention at the basic causes of ill health. We also need to focus on good health and well-being within the population. Being healthy isn't just about living longer and being free of disease. It's about living better, having a good job, warm home, enough money, successful social networks and relationships, personal control, resilience, and participating in society. It's a critical time to create a new public health system. The International Futures Forum proposes a Three Horizons model which could help promote change. The first horizon is current, addressing today's issues with our best knowledge and ideas. It is the predominant way of working in public health, our current targets and priorities, and the services and organizational structures we provide. The second, medium-term horizon is where we recognize that what we're doing now is becoming less effective. New ideas and approaches begin to emerge, and these show signs of effectiveness. Eventually, these H2 approaches become more prevalent, and what were the common approaches of H1 start to tail off. In the third horizon, innovations are starting to happen that seem way off beam. The fringe activity seems far removed from the current approaches. It's often small-scale, radical, and based on different values. These are the first stirrings of the new ways of working, what will eventually become the present system as, over time, the approaches take hold. All of these horizons run concurrently. Evaluating and managing the current, whilst looking for new and better ways of working, is the challenge. Building a plane whilst it's flying. To use this model, we need a clear and relevant goal. Is what we have fit for purpose given the cultural and global changes? A more appropriate goal than life expectancy alone is to create an equitable, fair, well and just environment that is sustainable for our locality and for the wider world to leave it in a better shape. And we need to understand health as wellness, not illness, and take a broader, holistic focus. Wellness recognizes how we think, feel and function is central to our health. Our ability to be resilient to illness, to manage and recover from illness, and our capability in staying healthy and making healthy choices. The shift from I to we recognizes the social nature of health and the attention needed to addressing social conditions. So, some of the H2 ways of working include focusing on the root causes and on wellness. This approach builds on wellness by valuing the positive factors that make us healthy rather than the problems of ill health. Practical ways of doing this include asset-based health indicators and measures, community asset mapping, joint strategic needs assessment, asset-based community development, individual strengths-based working, time banking, how do we create conditions with organizations and communities that will allow asset-based thinking and working to flourish? Linked to asset-based working is a shift from working with people as passive recipients of services to active, informed and empowered consumers or indeed producers of health and health services. How can we empower people and communities to expect better health? New digital and social media can help. The age of information is creating a more informed, engaged and connected public. It's transforming the way we learn, do business and have relationships. What's the potential to use social media to support wellness? 
Services also need to focus on the whole person and their community, rather than their being siloed and separate. Integrated wellness services support people in staying healthy and well, looking at why people make unhealthy choices and not just at what they're doing. Other H2 ways include community oriented primary care, livable streets, social value, investment for health. What are the things that are happening now that give encouragement and inspiration for the future system? What ideas or practice are emerging that are fringe or radical to what is going on? How do we develop a perspective that accepts the challenges to the first horizon and nurtures the seeds of the third? Are you ready to make the change happen? The future can be something we wait for, or it can be a context for what we are doing today. This thinking has emerged from a group of public health enthusiasts within the Northwest working with the International Futures Forum. It felt important to look beyond at what was currently being done and to explore alternative solutions and how to make change happen. The group also worked with the Marmot Review team in developing and implementing the regional response to the Marmot Review and producing the Living Well document. Through sharing the thoughts of the group, it's hoped that others are encouraged to find some time and space to reflect, re-energize and redirect efforts to bring about the needed change in public health.